Welcome to a new advanced geometry lecture. We will have a look at theorem 5.61 in section 5.6 page 117 from the book Geometry Revisited by Coxeter and Greitzer. The theorem is also known as the Feuerbach theorem. Here's the statement and a simple view of this celebrated theorem. The nine point circle of a triangle, in our case triangle ABC here, is tangent to the in circle and also the three X circles. The in circle is already drawn here. So let me make some a few remarks. That would be the radius here, the in radius. And because we I have a contact point here, point X is my contact point. We have a 90 degree angle here for the X circle as well. So I have a 90 degree angle here and my contact point is X sub A. I have a third circle here, but I will uh, explain later the, its significance. That circle is not the nine point circle. The nine point circle we know very well would go through the midpoints of the segments uh, ABC of our triangle. So the midpoints are clearly marked as A prime, B prime and C prime. So let's start by first writing the semi perimeter as A plus B plus C over two. And it's also possible to represent it uh, assuming that we can follow up with these tangencies here. So I have U, U. What I mean is line segment BY, if I call it U, BX is also U. AY, if I call it V, then AB prime is also V. And finally, CB prime is uh, W and CX is also W. Okay? So, uh, as a result, I have U plus V plus W. But notice that V plus W is equal to side AC, which we can represent as B. As such, I can find the line segment BX to be equal to S minus B. And it's very easy to also figure out that that thing is also equal to X sub A C. Um, now let's focus on x, x sub a, line segment x, x sub a. It's simply equal to uh, line a, huh? line segment a minus x, b and minus uh, x sub a, c, which we already found. So it's two times s minus b and as a result x, x sub a is equal to b minus c. Now let me go ahead and explain the nature of this dotted circle. This dotted circle has diameter x x sub a and the midpoint is a prime and the reason is simple because x b is equal to x sub a c. The midpoint of b c is the same as the midpoint of x x sub a which is a prime and I did go ahead and draw the circle which I call as omega here Omega will be significant because I will go ahead and make some inversion on that circle. And making the inversion, I will claim that the inverse of B prime with respect to that circle, Omega, will be nothing but this point over here. Uh, let me actually uh, mark these points as, let me mark this one as B1 and C1. Obviously B1, C1 is a straight line. It's actually a ta tangent line, an internal tangent line to our um, in to our in circle. And notice that it is symmetric with respect to the angle bisectors. We already established that it's well known that the in circle and the x circle they are hom they are homotetic with respect to that angle bisector. So the in so therefore the internal tangency points here they intersect at a point let me call as x. So let's go further and use the angle bisector theorem to measure BS and CS. If you do that, so you realize that BS is equal to AC over B plus C and similarly CS using the angle bisector theorem again would be equal to AB over B plus C as well. So I also need one more uh, measurement, which is S A prime, uh, S A prime, this little distance over here. But that's also very easy. Once you have these sides B, B, B S and C S, 
it clearly comes out as s a prime is equal to a times b minus c divided by 2 times b plus c. Now I want to show that the inverse of b prime will turn out to be b double prime and I am also interested in inverse of c prime with respect to our circle and I would like to show that it is nothing but c double prime. The best way to do it is to observe some similar triangles here. So let's uh, focus on, on, on the givens here. So we observe that. So let me write it on the top right portion. So triangle S A prime B double prime is similar to triangle S B C one. And why would that be? S um, A prime B double prime is similar to S B C one because these two lines are actually parallel to each other and we have uh, alternate interior angles. So it's not too difficult to realize that these two angles measure the same and these two angles also measure the same and as such we can establish a similarity here. And another one as well. So we also know that triangle S A prime C double prime is also similar to triangle S C B one. So S A prime C double prime, this tiny triangle is similar to S C B one. And it's also for the very similar reasons. We have some corresponding angles here. So maybe this one here and this one and the other two angles are obvious as well. So like this angle and this angle as well. So we can also put them in relation and using these two similarities, we can conclude that A prime B prime times a prime b double prime is nothing but b minus c over 2 squared and also a prime c prime times a prime c double prime is equal to the same length but notice that this is just the radius of our uh, inversion circle huh? we already established that x x a is equal to b minus c so therefore the radius is nothing but b minus c over 2 so these two points um having inverses of b prime and c prime give us a very important result because we have our nine point circle which is the circumcircle of a prime b prime c prime because it goes through the center of uh, the inversion circle the inverse of the circumcircle of a prime b prime c prime will be a straight line which goes through b double prime and c double prime uh, or you can just simply call it line b1 c1 so let me write that down clearly so the inverse so the inversion with respect to the circle omega which has radius r of the circumcircle of a prime b prime c prime which turns out to be the nine point circle here nine point circle is nothing but the line segment b1 c1 so that's the first result another result which is clear also is that our inversion circle omega is orthogonal to the in circle here not only to the in-circle, but also to the x-circle. But let's focus on the in-circle. Why would that be? Because of that 90 degree angle over here. So we can clearly see that the in-circle is orthogonal. Huh? In-circle of triangle ABC is orthogonal to omega. And it is also the case for the x-circle as well of triangle ABC. Uh, the x circle of our triangle abc uh, the x circle obviously is centered at i sub a is also orthogonal because of this 90 degree angle now connecting one and two we can come to a striking result so the key is that after inversion an orthogonal circle will stay itself so will be mapped onto itself so after inversion if um, b1 c1 intersects with our circle at one point and you can see that point here clearly 
let's uh, so we can uh, go ahead and mark it I don't know so like um, Q here I guess then before inversion they must have been intersecting at the same point at a similar uh, at one point as well and that's that point Q prime here uh, does everyone see that after inversion we have the inverse of the nine point circle which is B1C1 the inverse of the in circle which is itself after inversion they intersect at one point so therefore before inversion they should have intersected at one point which is that point is Q prime the same thing hold for the um, X circle as well after inversion they intersect uh, at this point here which we can call as I guess T so therefore before inversion they must have been intersected at the uh, line segment so let me go ahead and uh, draw this line segment here there we go and so they must have intersected at this point so now I have some additional points and I will go ahead and draw my nine point circle I know my nine point circle will go through these five points a prime b prime c prime but also q prime and t prime here so therefore the nine point circle will simply look like this red circle um, and obviously it will be tangent so I need to draw it carefully here so I have here it will be it will be tangent at this point Q here and then it will further go through here and here as well so that's how the nine point circle can be drawn um, it is a beautiful result so see you in our next lecture